Gray here, coming at you with another Transformer review. This is another first impression review, and my first hunt for the Decepticon figure. This is Legend Size Decepticon Ravage. Very awesome looking toy. I was very excited to get him, and I think he looks awesome. His paint detailing on here just looks really cool. But we'll talk about more of that when I open this guy up. So as you can see, it's a very nice, um, dominant looking packaging with the cool looking yellow and, and all the cool graphics it has on it. It's kind of like a motherboard, circuitry board. You just see on the back here, you can just tell on the red there, it looks pretty cool. The other figure released in this wave, wave one, is the red Rampage, which I do have, and it looks really cool. This will be my third Rampage that I have now. And as you can see up top there, just you can see Ravage in his uh, re-entry mode. Okay, so, very cool, you can see the Hunt for the Decepticon logo on the top here. Transformation conversion is a level two, which is very easy, and looks really awesome. Okay guys. Let's open Ravage up and take a look at him in further detail, yeah. And here's Ravage out of the package, and I have to say, he is awesome. He is so much cooler than his deluxe counterpart. More movie accurate, well, for now, until the, until the new 3-pack with the new Ravage, the 4th repaint coming out. I think that is uh, the most movie accurate out of the, the deluxe Ravage figures. So this is a pretty cool toy. Um, not a big fan of it being so crouched down like that, but you know it's pretty menacing, you know, for the whole pouncing cat thing. But it's pretty cool. Love the detailing and colors on here. Kind of like a dark metallic, sparkly kind of gray color with some nice lighter silver in between. Um, has some pretty cool gold spine pieces and the back heels and all these other pieces are kind of like a gold, kind of like a silvery gold color. Of course he has the metallic copperish eye with the silver teeth. The mouth doesn't move at all. He just has the open mouth thing which is pretty cool. And when you kind of move it in the light, which is really awesome I I have to say, the, this dark silver color kind of has a copperish um, gloss to it. I can see it up here, I can see it on the side of the face. It's kind of hard to pick up but when you tilt, look up here on the top of the spine, but on top of the Decepticon symbol. When I tilt it you can kind of see that gold shine off of it. That's actually on the paint. You know, not not just off the reflection of the light, which is awesome. This guy's really detailed, as you can see. Um, very cool looking. Has the guns up top, which do move up and down, move backwards all the way around, which is pretty cool. And it's hindered by this, so it doesn't move all the way around. Kind of moves three quarters of the way. Um, the tail does move up and down, and that's pretty cool. All four legs can rotate 360, they're on ball joints. Uh, the ankles of uh, the feet do move on the, on the front part of the leg, and this mid-region does not move. On the back, it uh, moves here, and it does move at the feet. And like I said, move all four of them, they all do the same. And it's really nice, you can see that silver kind of copperish color inside of the legs there, which is things are... This is an awesome little figure. Um, this tail doesn't move at all, and very, very nice, very nice. I like this a lot, actually. He does come with this little piece of paper here, and it does have his instructions. Oops, how to transform him. Shows his re-entry mode, and his statistics are strength six, intelligence nine, speed seven, endurance seven, rank four, courage ten. Fire Blast 4 and Skill 8. He's a well diverse character in all statistics, so I think that's pretty cool. And blank on the side. He also comes with this Hunt for the Decepticon little piece of paper. Um, I'm not going to show you the code here just in case you try to take it, but um, you can go online, enter a 14 digit code, and at transformershunt.ca, complete three Decepticon missions online and unlock special Autobot Alliance training facility content on website. A different code is required to complete each Disruptic on mission and mine the sirens in the background because they've been going off for like 20 minutes now. I'm going to keep reviewing. I had to cut this a couple times, but blah, blah, blah. Anyways, contents available through January 31st, 2011. See full instructions at transformershunt.ca. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you can go online, do some, do some missions and stuff, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so enough about this. Let's get into the review some more and get into his transformation. 
Okay, before we transform a ravage, um, I just want to point out that he does have mid waist articulation, but that's for transformation purposes. But just thought I'd point that out before uh, before we jumped into the transformation. And I just can't get over the pain apps on this. I just love it. I just think it's probably one of the best uh, Legends figures I think so far. Oh, just that paint on there, like really in between, uh, like the lines here, you can kind of make out that gold copper tone too. I think that's awesome. Okay, sorry. I'm just blown away by the, the amount of detail in this little guy. Okay, so to transform Ravage, um, you can just bring this under piece forward. And you can bring down the waist. Bring up the legs. There's a little groove on the ball joint here. And you kind of want to just bring it up. Bring in the legs, and you can now go underneath here, and his arms, they move on this little point here, and they do go inwards, and you can just bring his arms down, as you can see, and you can now bring them back, and just bring the feet back, and make them flat under his belly there. You can take his tail. Bring that all underneath, and you can just adjust the guns, and and finally you can just kind of snug these feet. They kind of fit in there a little bit, in between uh, the way it's molded there. They kind of just fit in there a little bit, and that's pretty much. Make sure their arms are in there, and that's pretty much it. Looking really cool, and that kind of snaps in there more sturdier. Okay. Okay, so here you have. <coughs> okay, so he and here we have Ravage in his re-entry mode. Um, it's really up to your imagination. However, you want to like if you want to make it more flat, or if you kind of want to have it angled a little bit. But there you have it. Looking really cool. 60 here. Very nice. Okay, so not much going on on this on the back. Make it straight. Okay, you kind of see some copperish, this metal in these pieces here. And yeah. Okay, so bring him back to his cat mode beast mode. Bring the tail and the body back. Bring these down. Straighten the legs out and the feet. You can now bring those arms out. Straighten them out. Bring his feet back to proper pose. Yeah, my bad. There we go. That's better. Gotta make sure you do that first. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now we can just straighten the legs out. It's always hard when you have like a beast mode with four legs, always trying to get that straight stance for the cat. But there you have it. Awesome figure. First impression is I think he's off the charts. He's awesome. Uh, I would I would have wished there was a little bit more movement in the legs here, but I can't complain with uh, the detailing in this. I just think it's awesome, very cool. Okay, so that's it for Legends Ravage from the Hunt for Decepticons. Thanks for checking out my review. Stay tuned for more, and until next time, guys. I'll catch you later. Rawr.